Hello friends, I am Rahul and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new video, we will see interview questions on AWS IAM service. The first question is, what is AWS IAM? AWS IAM is a service that helps you to secure your AWS account. In IAM, you can create users, groups, policies and roles for better access management. You can allow or deny access to a particular AWS service using IAM. AWS IAM provides security tokens to each request so only authorized identities can access the AWS service. Using IAM policies, IAM manages the level of access to the services on a granular level. For example, service engineers can only have read-only access and will not be able to make any changes. Next question is, how AWS IAM works? The main work of IAM is to validate the access using policies. IAM generates a temporary security token if the requester has access to a particular service. The requester can access the service till the token is valid. Next question is, what is user and group in AWS IAM? IAM user is an entity that uses the AWS service. This user has the access to the AWS account and can access the AWS services according to the policies. The user can have access to the AWS management console or can access the AWS service using command line. To access the AWS management console, the user needs to have a username and password. And if the user wants to access the AWS services using CLI, then he needs an access key and secret access keys. The user group is a collection of users. Management of individual user permissions is a tedious job, hence we can add multiple users to the same group. So all the users will have the same access because we can assign the permissions to the group instead of users. For example, you can create a group and assign read-only permissions to the group. When you add a user to the group, the user will get the read-only access inherited. Next question is, what is the IAM policy simulator in AWS? Normally, admin creates a policy and attaches the policy to the entity like user, role or group. But he wanted to validate the effect. He has to log in as the requester entity and validate the same or he can request the requester to log in and test the access. But using the policy simulator, the admin can validate the policy before assigning it to the entity and ensures the required access is provided. Next question is, what is Access Analyzer? Access Analyzer gives comprehensive details of the services and resources which are shared with the external accounts. Using this feature, admin can view the services or resources that are shared with the external accounts intentionally or mistakenly. This can help to close the open security risk. For example, it can trace the S3 bucket which is shared with external parties accidentally or unknowingly. Next question is, what is role and policies in AWS IAM? The AWS role is similar to the AWS user. But the difference is that we cannot log in into the AWS management console using the credentials of the role. The role does not support the password as the user supports it. We use the role when an AWS resource wanted to use a different service or resources present in the AWS account. For example, the EC2 instance wanted to access the data present in the S3 bucket. A JSON document of the permissions is called as policies. In this document, the admin mentions the set of permission for a particular service or resource. For example, when a EC2 machine wanted to access the data present in the S3 bucket, we have to assign a role to the EC2 machine and need to attach the policy which allows the EC2 machine to access S3 bucket objects. Next question is, what are service control policies? Service control policies are also known as HCP policies, are the permissions managed from the centralized AWS account. 
service control policies works on the organizational level and the account needs to add to the respected organization next question is what are the security credentials iim provides aws iim lets you manage several types of long term security credential for iim users passwords are used to sign in to secure aws pages such as the aws management console access keys are used to make programmatic calls to aws from the aws apis aws cli aws sdks or aws tools for windows powershell amazon cloudfront key pairs are used for cloudfront to create signed urls and ssh public keys are used and ssh public keys are used to authenticate to aws code commit repositories what is access advisor in aws iim access advisor gives you a view of policy usage you can track which policy the user used last and which is not using at all using this advisor the admin can remove the unused permission which is not been used for long and is no longer needed by the user next question is what is single sign on in iim single sign on is used to integrate multiple aws accounts with a centralized authentication mechanism like windows adfs in this setup user authentication has been done by the customer active directory and the sign token has been generated by the adfs server using this feature we can access multiple aws accounts using the same credentials thanks for watching please like share and subscribe if you like the video thank you